An argument I sometimes hear directed at atheists is that science and religion are not so different. You have to have faith in science in order to believe what it's telling you. And this doesn't make it any different from reading stuff out of the Bible or any other holy texts and accepting what it says as given and true. Now, this argument is based on a very clear misunderstanding of the nature and philosophy of science. Okay, let me explain. The way science works is that a scientist takes a hypothesis, call this H, right? H is an unverified statement about the world. This hypothesis, this statement about the world, is thought about carefully, and its implications are discussed. Say the hypothesis H was that gravity is a force that makes things fall to the ground, okay? Um, the You would think that the consequences of that, to observe whether this statement is true or not, is that if things fall to the ground, it's due to gravity. So, you've got this hypothesis, you've thought about its consequences, now you go about the business of testing it experimentally, right? So, you would drop certain things, and if they fall to the ground, you may say that gravity exists. The hypothesis has been tested, it squares with the observable evidence, and so is accepted as a model of how the world works. This is how science works. It is not a series of absolute statements, right? Absolute faith-based statements that are taken and accepted with no backing or grounding. It's a series of different models, right? Different models that are tested and accepted on the basis of evidence. What's most important to note here is that this is not the end of it. This is not the end of the matter. This is the main difference between scientific statements and religious statements. A scientific statements are always subject to change. They're never absolute, and a scientist is always prepared, on the basis of new evidence, to refine his model and change his point of view. This is why science is not so much a series of statements that you know we call knowledge, but rather it is a system of investigation. Now, a theist is perfectly entitled here to say, how can you say you know anything then? Surely you must say you know something. My answer to that is no, I don't know anything. I honestly do not. I do not know anything for certain. I do not know anything as absolute. All I have are these models, which I say some work better than others. And for the, on this, the basis of this, I can build up a sort of relative truth. I can say that this is more true than this based on this evidence. I'm not saying this is absolutely right, but I'm saying it looks far more likely than something else. This is the nature of science. If you want knowledge, you're going to have to look into philosophy a bit deeper, and I might go on to that in a later video, but this is about science, so I'll keep it like that for now.